Hey there, friends of Falcon. It's Darren here again with our next unboxing video. This time it is Judge Dredd Helter Skelter, a Wildlands game. This game is part of the Falcon Gaming Library, sponsored for this year by Eastridge Games. Check them out at ergames.ca. Judge Dredd Helter Skelter is designed by Martin Wallace. It was published in 2019 by Osprey Games, and the art was done by Brian Bolland, Rufus Daglow, Klimp, Langley, and Ian O'Toole. My apologies for any mispronunciation. According to the publisher, Wildlands is, is a game. Yes. It plays, yeah, there we go, 14 plus, 30 to 60 minutes, two to four players, and it is a competitive game. All righty. Um, according to Board Game Geek, Helter Skelter has a rating of 7.7 .7 and a weight of 1.83. It is currently ranked 46 20th overall with over 170 ratings. The elevator pitch for Judge Dredd Helter Skelter is pick your faction, fight for your reality, Dredd, Alpha, Slain, Dante. Mechanically, this game includes area movement, hand management, Kill steal, secret unit deployment, and variable player powers. Um, yeah, so Wildlands was a game that came out a couple of years ago and had a really cool action uh, card action mechanic selection. Yeah, all those words: card selection action mechanic. You play a card, you choose the actions on that card, and you move those that miniature. This is the next generation of that, Martin Wallace took the Wildlands mechanics and put on a Judge Dredd uh, theme. And I'm a big fan of Judge Dredd, and I'm a big fan of Wildlands, so I was really excited to give this a shot. Let's have a look inside the box and see what they've sent us. The box is huge. It is bigger than a, slightly bigger than a Ticket to Ride box. Deeper, wider, and longer. Um, yeah, let's have a look inside and uh, see what we have going on here. All right, so let's pop that over here. We have a little ad for Undaunted, which is another game by Osprey, as well as The Cursed Earth. Cursed Earth was a reskin of the Lost Treasure, Lost something. Ah. Anyway, I'm sure you guys, Lost Expedition. My apologies. Cursed Earth is a retheme of the Lost Expedition game, and I should have just stopped talking at the beginning of that. We have a rule book. All right. It's a big rule book because it fits the box, and it has... Well, I don't know. No page numbers. Again. So we're looking at one, two, three, six, six, seven pages worth of uh, rules. Let's see what's in the in the rule book. We have a bunch of layout uh who designed it, who did the art, graphic design, a little bit of theme. What's in the box? Bunch of miniatures, some cards, team cards. Cubes, action cards, reference cards, fragments of reality. That sounds like fun. I could use a fragment of reality. We have a map. We have the Grand Hall of Justice and city blocks. Cool. Um, talking about different rules for how things move and play, how to deal with cover, line of sight. The teams, we have the judges. The Scrontium Dogs, Nikolai Dante, and Slain McLaughlin. Very cool. How to play. So we finally get to how to set up the table, how to prep, stuff like that. On your turn, what you're going to do. How to deal with damage. How to deal with character, uh, player, character death. Not player death. That would be really bad. How, what various actions are available, any offenses and defenses, 
pretty clear, straightforward, and this looks like a reference um, for the various things that can go on in the game. All right, let's pop the board out here and have a look at it and see what's going on. So we have, as I said before, the Hall of Justice. Let's get that away for a minute. Let's see what we can see on this board. We get most of the board this way. So it has the different location numbers for spawning your characters. Um, I don't know if there's any level indicators on this one or not. I think these are one ways. Or that, uh, these are level. Yeah, these are levels. There are rules for height and uh, who's higher, who's lower, who gets a defense. And then on the other side, we have those two city blocks where you guys can it's probably the second, the first level because there doesn't seem to be any levels. Everything's just fairly conjoined together. A couple of pinch points for getting jammed up with your minis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Board's very clear. The numbers, um, line of sight, I think, was fairly straightforward, if I recall correctly, from the original Wildlands game. But uh, we'll have to check that out when we play our first game with it. All right, that's the board. Very nicely done. Let's bring the box back. We have mini. A whole tray of minis. A sheet of paper that won't let go of me. All right. We have... Plastic cover. This insert's looking very promising. It's sticking around. We have a little judge symbol. Not quite sure what it's for. It's acrylic. It's green-ish with a little, I don't know if you can see it, blood stain running down it. Fits nicely in there. All right. I can make anything fit. And we have minis. I'm not going to pull them all out because there are something like 20 miniatures, but they are plastic, slightly smaller than a Warhammer miniature, fairly decent detail from the looks of it and feel of it. Um, really like the looks of those. These are the judges, I believe. Yep. Have another look at a mini. I'll show you a couple of each one. This guy only has one arm. I forget what his name is, but uh, yeah. Then we have cards to go with these guys. Let's pop that deck open. We'll do one team at a time. Maybe. Sometime today, Darren, would be great. Time is a waste. Alright. We have a player reference. Excellent. It is two-sided with uh, the offense and defense breakdown. Not just defense breakdown. Fine. Punch and defense. Action and defense. Reading is hard today. We have all the breakdown of what icons are on what cards in the in this deck, just in case you really um, need to know that. And then the three different icons that are relevant to this deck. Then we have lovely art. It's all the AD 20, 2000 AD art of the comic books. Um, so we have the characters, double-sided, with um, information on them. This is Judge Giant, and uh, Judge Anderson. She has high explosive rounds. Chief Judge Hershey. She has high explosive rounds. I'm getting a lot of theme here for high explosives on the dread judge judges team. And Mean Machine. Vaguely recall him from the comic books. All right. Then we have the Judge Dread cards. So I didn't go into it really earlier, but they are plastic-like cards. They're going to, I think they'll hold up pretty good. They have the five different icons and what they can do. This card looks fairly boring. Um, if they're highlighted, they get to trigger that action. So shooting. I couldn't tell you psychic powers. I don't know. But uh, I do know that if they're not grayed out, this is the things you can trigger 
the actions with this card you, you could trigger. You get to trigger one of them. You might get to trigger the special ability, depending if you are the person that um, has that icon. Yeah, because Judge Giant has this icon. Judge Anderson's the Psy icon. So this is who you can activate with that card. All no warranties are given with my rules and instructions because I haven't actually read the rules yet. So the cards are very straightforward, just different combinations of the icons available, who can use the card, who can be triggered and actioned on that. That's the judges. We now have the Strontium Dog faction. Again, really nice quality miniatures. Yeah, um, I like those guys. This guy's got a really big hammer. I'm really hoping I can get somebody come come along and paint this for me, but uh, I'll have to figure out how to make that happen. All right, take a look at the strong team dogs. I would suspect, similar to the judge deck, they will... They have a different back, so you can tell them apart. They have an on-your-turn player reference. The different powers. These guys have vampirism. That'll be fun. And, the, again, the distribution of what icons are in on how many cards. Midden Face McNulty. Durham Red. She's a vampire, I guess. Johnny Alpha. He used to be a judge. Wolf Sternhammer. Very cool. He's that guy with the hammer we just looked at. And the Gronk. I don't remember the Gronk, but it's been a long time since I read the comic books. And then again, the different cards with their different icons and what you can do with them. And there's a good stack of them. Well, I should probably mosey through these, otherwise I'm never going to finish. And someone's going to complain how long this review took. This paper just protecting things. All right. Another insert, Ooh. just holding the uh, the bits and bobs. Nikolai Dante deck. I'm not going to pop the deck up this time, just mostly because I want to show off the miniatures. That's really why we pick up these uh, games is the minis. I like them. They're very well done. We've got some sort of winged in the Nikolai Dante. We have all of the, and Slain, ooh, Slain's got a big guy. I like looking at big miniatures. That looks cool. Big guy with an ax. These are the Scottish ones, if I recall correctly. Another guy with a big ax. Very cool. And, well, because you got a really big guy, you have to have a really tiny guy. Cool. All right. So you can tell the different colors, player colors apart because we have little plastic rings for each player color. I'm going to pull up the blue ones because I can tell those apart. And you have a unit of five. And these clip on to the faction that you're going to play, which is pretty cool. Um not going to play stump the color, but uh, I think those are the four different colors of bits. I'd really like to have a different color, but I'll probably, when I did this last time, I just left my my bases off so I could tell that the unbased ones were mine. It worked fairly well. All right, let's uh, slide this off here and see what other bits and bobs are in the box. Three cubes. This is the Fragments of Reality. Each player faction will have their own Fragments of Reality they're trying to hunt down. And, yeah, I'll explain in a minute when I show you the other deck of cards how those get distributed at a high level. And then cubes. I think these are damage cubes, if I recall correctly. Little 6 millimeter red acrylic cubes. Nice. All right, and white acrylic cubes. 
I'm not quite sure what they're for off the top of my head. But they are clear, whitish acrylic cubes, and there's five of them. That'll be in the rule book. I'm sure of it. All right, last thing to look at is the little location deck. This is how things get set up. You get shuffled a bunch of these. And this is where you set up your fragments of reality and where you can set up your initial player starts. Okay, it's not wanting to go open. I'm just going to keep talking. So you noticed on those map boards they had circular numbers for the various color, for various locations. And whether it's a three plus player, if you're playing two player, I'm guessing we're going to have different locations. And they'll have numbers all the way up to whatever the highest number in the game, 40. So there are 40 locations. These would get shuffled up. They're just little Hobbit cards. And they'll get used once per game. And you'll get a hand. And you'll be able to decide whether that's your fragment of reality, figment of reality, or where you are drafting a character to. I think for now, in the time being, these inserts are going to stay because they will protect the miniatures. And I have a bad luck with protecting the miniatures. So, yeah, they're going to go in like that. I'll deal with the rest of the stuff in a minute. Um, yes, I'm very excited to try Judge Grit Helter Skelter. But I'm also very excited because right now I'm going to push this up here and bring out the current expansion that is available for this, the Dark Judges. Um, I picked this up as a combo, so I've got it all at once. So I... <coughs> the Dark Judges is a very cool theme in the comic books. They, they're bad guys, really bad guys. And um, I'm not quite sure how they're going to uh, play into the game. We've got a token sheet with little broken up corrupted shields and an unbroken side. So that's going to be a status of some sort. We've got the four judges, the four dark judges. Looks like they're bases. They won't fit those bases. Oh, well, they do, but they don't come with any plastic bases. So that's interesting. Whether they're going to play as a faction or whether these are NPCs, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm trying to figure out how to get into this without making a mess. So we have a solo mode. We get to fight the judges solo. That'll be interesting. And then there are big cards for Judge Fire, Judge Fear. Let's see what's on the other side. Um, just a power, their abilities. So when, when they're disabled, I don't know. They have two different sides. Judge Mortis. And Judge Death. Judge Death, I remember from the, from the comic books. Very cool. That's that deck of cards. We looked at the minis. They have cards. Fire through this quickly, mostly because we're going to run long. All right. The crime is life. The sentence is death. These are solo game cards. Good to know. There's a whole solo deck. Somebody will really enjoy that. I am absolutely sure. Probably won't be me, but that's okay. Sometime I might get interested in a solo game. And these guys have a whole deck of uh, action cards for their team. The four different uh, Dark Judges and their icons of what they can do. Card quality doesn't feel the same. I might be wrong. But they're not going to interchange, so it does, so long as this deck is all the same background and same color, there aren't any new cards being added to the uh, different decks. We have another ad for Wildlands and the Cursed Earth. And the rule book, just covering off what was done in the expansion. Um, how to play as a Dark Judge. If you want to play as a player in Helter Skelter as the Dark Judges. Or if you're going to play solo against the Dark Judges. Okay. Um, various rules and actions similar to the other rule book. A little smaller footprint because, well, they're not going to cover everything off. They assume that you 
have the uh, base game when you're playing them. And that is the Dark Judges. I think that'll be fun. I wasn't aware, wasn't sure whether it was going to play as a just an NPC, but it looks like you can play these guys right out of the box as a, another faction. So we have Judge Grid and the Dark Judges expansion. Thanks for checking out our unboxing video of Dark Judge Dread Helter Skelter, a Wildlands game. I want to thank East Ridge Games for sponsoring the Falcon Gaming Library this year. Check out falcon.com for more information about our convention and our meetups in the Calgary, Alberta area. Feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment and I will try to answer as best I can. In closing, I'm Darren with Falcon and I want to know, are you game? Thanks and have a great day.